cool inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. Well, good day. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. I'm Akos the Solutionist, Akos Jankira, your host. And with me today, I've got a special guest, an inventor. I love inventors. I love it when they come join me. This is Wayne with Decatex. Wait till you see his invention. It's a rock star. It's awesome. And instead of uh, showing a Skype, we're going to have Wayne here demonstrate it right here in person. Now, what we do on this program, we do it every single day. We bring an inventor in from somewhere all across this great land of ours. And they come and they, we interview them. We talk to them. We kibitz with them. We make fun of them. They make fun of us. We have a grand old time with them. But the important part, they pitch their product for 60 seconds to you guys. And you guys vote. And uh, you guys vote sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you vote thumbs down. And sometimes you vote thumbs up. Sometimes you vote somewhere in the middle, but you guys vote. We're not the sharks. You guys are. You guys decide who has the next $100 million idea. In fact, yesterday, let me tell you, Wayne, we had a guy up here. Uh, he, you would have liked him. He's one of those guys, a consummate inventor. Uh, he, I think it was from San Diego. It was from San Diego, Tony? I think it was from San Diego. That's, this guy was named J.D. Davis. So let me tell you. J.D. Davis comes up with a, what, Tony, what do you got? He was from Oklahoma. Yeah, perfect. You see, there's my memory. Now I just have somebody <laughs> to invent something so my memory doesn't go away. He was from Oklahoma. He called in live, and he invented a ladder carrier. Okay, you know how you know how the problem is. You got a ladder. You got to fold it up, and you I don't know how you're holding it like this, and you're holding it under your arm like a suitcase. You're holding it with two hands. It's big and long. He comes up with this handle. Look at this on there. You clamp it onto the side of the handle, and the whole thing comes like a briefcase. The whole thing comes like a luggage. You can carry it around with one hand. I thought, wow, that's the best invention I. I've seen for a ladder in a long time. It was inexpensive. He came and pitched it. He had a, a great pitch. He had a little studio set up in his office, kind of like a two camera shoot going on there. He gave his pitch. It was awesome. And then you guys voted. Uh, before I tell you the vote, I'm going to show Wayne here, and I want you to review his pitch. This is JD's pitch from yesterday. Have a listen. You got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it. Pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You can only make millions. So what did you think, Wayne? Wasn't that a pretty awesome pitch? Uh, that guy deserves a raise. <laughs> he set up the problem. He set up the solution. He threw the pitch at us. And you guys voted by going to MyCoolInventions.com. Now, would you give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down vote? Well, I think it looks like a, a really handy product. And thumbs up or thumbs What are you, a politician? Well, Seriously, I give you a up, question. Of course, of course. Are there, are there, you should, yeah, thumbs up. Okay, listen to this. I gave him a thumbs up, too. Andrew gave him a thumbs up, too. And let me tell you, hundreds of you gave him a thumbs up. In fact, a hundred percent of you thumbs up not one thumbs down and that's wow. the kind of response we're looking for so here's what we're going to do with jd <laughs> we're going to get jd involved with bonnie in fact we should uh, to, 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 Tony, make sure Bonnie has his number right here, right now. Let's get him introduced to Inventor Showdown, because Inventor Showdown second season's coming up on first Sunday of August, coming up on Evine Live Network. That's a reality show. Did you hear about the reality oh, yeah. show we got going on? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Last showtime, we had 16 inventors, Wayne. Uh -huh. We put them head to head. It's like it's like Food Network Chop meets live shopping, <laughs> right? So four inventors every week. They came from all around the world. Four inventors every single week went head to head, head to head, head. No panel. Let you me know guess. who won? The inventor that invented a weapon. 
<laughs> no, 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 not at all. Okay. And what, you know, no, you're not supposed head to, to head. I mean, no, you're not supposed to kill the other inventors. You're supposed to outsell them. <laughs> and what happened is that the well, how we did it is that people bought the stuff, right? And so the guy who won who, who won each week was the one who sold the most dollars per minute. Let me tell sure. you, we were exchanging six figure dollars. Let me tell you, it was wow. really really awesome. So inventor showdown, we had four weeks where the winner went on, and we had the finals, and they all came back. And the winner was a guy named Yisha, and he invents the super socket. It was the same. I I gotta tell you something. It's one of those things, as my mother would say, it was as simple as a slap in the face on there. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know, you know those power strips you have, you know, power strips, and you put six of them this way, or they have six. But the trouble is, these adapters are like this. Have you seen an Apple adapter? It's sure. the size of Texas, right? So you put it in the power strip, and of course, once you put one of them in there, it eats up two. Yeah, slots. sometimes three, three steps, yeah. right, right? So this, but you can have a six step uh, power strip, but it doesn't mean anything. You know, but he invents a cube, okay? Mm -hmm. Think of a cube, plugs into your wall. Wall, but the way he has five other faces, the way he uh, face the, all he does is he changes the faces on them, and so all six, all the sockets can be used, and you can put them together like Legos. Have a, it was fantastic. Anyways, he won, and when he won, you know what Evine did? He, they gave him, uh, they gave him uh, uh, today's top value. In fact, July seventeenth, wow. going through the eighteenth, they bought eighteen thousand units for a single day of selling. Wow. Isha's flying back. He's from the Netherlands. He's flying back to do the show, and everybody who was, every, listen, everybody won on that show because they all got advertised. They all got sales. They all got orders. And in, in fact, the, the top four all, have all been a regular item at Evine. They've all got regular spots now. So that's what we do for inventors. So, Tony, make sure Bonnie has this uh, JD's name because I'm going to show them 100% thumbs up is not nothing. we got to show that up to the Evine uh, buying team at the Invent in, in the Inventor Showdown team. Now, today... His inventors right here beside me. And I'm going to tell you something. This guy's like a genius, right? So so he comes up with, I mean, this is an idea that no, most mortal human beings don't even think of, right? So what's the problem? So what did you solve? <laughs> well, you know, the, the thing is, uh, technology really hasn't changed for keyboards in 149 years. We're not talking about musical keyboards no. like my brother plays. We're talking the about QWERTY. The, the QWERTY keyboard, uh, the, the, key, the computer keyboard, the Designed keyboard that's shortly online. after the Civil War. <laughs> what? Right <laughs> after the Civil War, yeah. 1869. What? Yeah. The keyboard that's on my computer was designed in 1869. Yes. Civil War times. Yes. So I want to talk. We like to, why did they put the letters in that order? Do you know? Uh, well, there's kind of a myth to it. Um, a lot of people believe that he arranged them that way to slow people down because they were typing too fast <laughs> and the mechanical hammers would jam. Um, that would only be true if he had designed it <coughs> one way and then had redesigned it. That's not true. He designed it this way originally. So, so it no redesign. It wasn't redesigned to One slow people down. Yeah. All right. So the QWERTY keyboard comes along. So now the computers all that was a typewriter, of course, back in the Civil War, yeah. I think. And then of course, along comes computers. You know, I remember going to typing class. Are you old enough to go to typing class? I was in typing class in like grade ten. <laughs> and there was no computers. We had we were sitting in a big room of typewriters, sure. and we learned to type like I don't know fifty words a minute or something without mistakes. And if you made a mistake, you got to go back and oh With my the white goodness. out or the yeah. uh, the correction so, tape. So, so what did you do? What did you reinvent the keyboard? I re invented the keyboard. Uh, you know, it didn't make any sense uh, for modern technology. And so, you know, our, all of our touch typing skills for small devices have, have completely right. gone away because they're, the QWERTY keyboard is so tiny, you have to look at it. Right. So there's the picture of it right there. So it's kind of weird looking. It's got a square. It kind of fits in the palm of your hand. There's kind of big buttons all the way around it with letters on it. So Wayne's got one in his hand. Sh show me how to use it. Yeah, we did a little bit of a redesign on it so that it's uh, trying to make the, the graphics a little bit better. But it, it rests underneath your fingertips okay. so that your fingers can reach all of the buttons. And then it's just a single A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Hold one thumb, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Hold the other thumb, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. It looks like an alien ship. <laughs> It looks like something, uh, you know, You know, if I was encountered aliens, they came off instead of using the smartphone, they had one of these things in their hand. But it's kind of interesting. So you got the whole keyboard at the palm of your hand. Can you do capital letters and can you do uh, uh, little letters? You can, uh, if you press both thumbs, the next letter is capitalized. What? Yeah. Okay, okay, what about the numbers? Uh, and if you do L for lock and, N and C for cap, then it's all capitalized, so it's cap lock. All right. You put it in number lock and then uh, it's just single press, one, two, three, I'm gonna four, stump five, you. I'm gonna, six, seven, eight, What nine, about zero. the ampersand? sign. Everything. Get out. 108 keystrokes. No. Yes. What about emojis? 
Uh, well, you know, if you do the colon hyphen. I don't say colon on my show. <laughs> so you, you got, that's kind of cool. Is that kind of what is it like Bluetooth? Yes. All right, let's do his pitch. We're going to do his pitch. We're running out of time. No. Yes. You're shaking at me. No pitch. Next <laughs> section. This pitch now. I, I, have, I have a debate going on in the control room over there. All right, we're going to do his pitch in the second segment. I went too long. So after, when we come back off the off the segment, we're going to do your pitch. It's a one minute pitch. You're going to try okay. to uh, try to win us over. And if you're out there right now, I want you to share this video. Share, share, share. Touch that share button. Make sure everybody's watching uh, Wayne here with his deck of text. And I want you to make your comments. Where are you from? Hey, there's Juan de Dios Murillo. How can I put my ideas into an actual prototype? Hey, you know what? What you need to do is go to Inventors University. We have a seminar, a webinar coming up next Thursday where I, you know, I've sold over a billion dollars. Oh, I've been associated with a billion dollars of sales on television, uh, basically for inventions and gadgets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal my selling secrets next Thursday. We'll announce the time, but I think it's noon. Next Thursday, Selling Secrets. It's a webinar you can see right here on My Cool Inventions. It's absolutely free. You know what I want? I want people to get selling. So what happens is uh, people don't realize there's a couple really secret things that you have to do to get selling. And I'm going to reveal the number one secret what inventors should be doing to try to get their products in front of funding people so you can get some money, try to get selling so you can get it on the shelves, and also get learning. You have to get learning. That's why we're making an Inventions University. Uh, we have all the best uh, people. We're getting all the important topics like profit margins, things like uh, uh, techniques to sell more, logistics, patents, all the things that uh, that are important to inventors. So we're, all, we're, we're starting a whole educational department on My Cool Inventions. It's going to be called Inventors Masterclass. Inventors Masterclass. The first Inventors Masterclass is going to be next Thursday. So if you're an inventor, you want to stay tuned, stick around. We're going to send you an invite. You have to register to be in that class on there. So Inventors Masterclass, absolutely free next Thursday. We'll post it here on My Cool Inventions. So, hey, after the break, we're going to listen to this guy's pitch right over here. We're going to see this alien ship go, and I'm going to see how it works. And the new key is this, is this the new keyboard of the future? Who knows? Stick around and find out. We're always throwing those used dead batteries away. That can get pricey. And battery rechargers are big and bulky. How do we get around this problem? Hi, I'll make off the solutions to tell you that most people have a USB port and we have USB rechargeable batteries. That's right, plug the USB AA batteries into any USB port and recharge them. It even lets you know with an LED indicator the status of the charge and there's a present voltage control circuit to prevent overcharging. The USB batteries can be charged up to 500 times. Now that's a lot of charges. Get these incredible USB rechargeable batteries and have charged batteries whenever you need them. Normally the USB battery sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the USB batteries are only $15.99 and you buy one, get one free, get two batteries. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490, one 877 490 order now. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Problem. Too many bottles, cans, or cups are dropped in the lake or they get warm on the beach before you're ready to refresh. Solution? The Floatinator. With the Floatinator, you no longer have to worry about dropping or having lake water spilled into your drink. Plus, both of your hands stay free. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist. Now you can take your drink into the lake, pool, or ocean and have your hands free at the same time. 
It's a cup holder with a tether line that you attach to your wrist so it floats with you. Made with a foam float ring for buoyancy, it also has a unique counterweight ballast that protects your drinks from wakes, waves, and cannonballs. Enjoy the water and your drink at the same time with the Floatinator. Buy it now. Normally the Floatinator sells for $39.99, but with the special promo code FLOAT, you can buy it for $29.75 for the next seven days. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. You're out at night and you need some light. You didn't take a big flashlight, so now what are you gonna do? Now that is a problem, but I have the answer. Hi, I'm Mick Austin the Solutionist with the Next Torch. It's the small thumb light you can put in your pocket. The Next Torch has a special white LED that is gentle to the eyes and has a reach of over 15 feet. Unlike other small light, this one even has a stand that lets you rotate the light 360 degrees. It also has a magnetic bottom plate, a bungee cord, a carabiner, which offers you countless ways to use your light. On the hood of your car, bungee to a tree limb, or just attach it to your jacket. It truly is the perfect pocket utility lantern. Normally the next torch sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, we have it for $19.75. Go to mycoolgadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Welcome back. We're talking to Wayne uh, here with his deck of text. Awesome guy. We should chat in the break there. And now, uh, listen, uh, people are saying hello. Um, uh, I want you to say hello, Georgie uh, Bowling. Greetings from Winchester, Kentucky. All right. Where, where are you watching from? Just type it in there right there. Maybe you're watching on YouTube Live right now. Maybe you're watching on Facebook Live right now. On Roku Live. Roku. You know that? You know that? I don't know if you have a digital television. You have one of those DV, digital TV things on there? Uh, I got a Roku. So. All right. Have you? Sure. so if you go to the, if you search inventions and gadgets, channel mm hmm Right? That's us. Oh, yeah. So go get Inventions and Gadgets channel. Put that on the icon. It's and you can in see my it. list of channels. All right, good. See, yeah. well, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, soon to come uh, 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 Apple TV, and also smart uh, Samsung smart TVs. Uh, we're working on all that, but uh, you guys are loving us. We, You know that we have, you know, I don't know if you know this, but between the 53 radio stations that carry us, right, mm -hmm. uh, and, and all those TV stuff that we have, over 100,000 people actually hear this pitch. Excellent. No pressure. No, not I at all. I just thought I'd throw that out there just before you do your pitch <laughs> just so you don't think you're just pitching to me I'm well, just that, kidding that's why it's, it's you know that's why it's it's fun to do it at home when you're uh, still wearing your pajamas and that's 100 percent right <laughs> all right so no further ado we're gonna get wayne here he's gonna give us his pitch on the deck of text and let me tell you something this is pretty ingenious stuff right here so are you ready well wait, wait, wait. i want you to get ready to vote okay you're gonna hear wayne so go vote go to mycoolinventions.com pull up that little website thumbs up or thumbs down and also the facebook page if you're on the my Cool Inventions Facebook page. You can vote from there too. So maybe you're watching at Roku right now at home. You could actually go to your little phone there and pull up the Facebook page of uh, My Cool Inventions and get ready to vote. There's an icon there to vote. So everybody get ready to vote. Wayne, are you ready to give us your best pitch? Thumbs up. Tony, you know what to do. Let's do it. You got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Okay, well, technology changes at a breathtaking rate. But one thing that hasn't changed in the past 149 years, and that's the QWERTY keyboard. But now with wearable technology and virtual reality, it's impossible or at least very inconvenient to use or to touch type on one of those devices. Uh, and all of those skills you had for touch typing are lost. Um, Looking at a keyboard distracts us from what's important. And so we developed the Decatext, a one-handed Bluetooth keyboard. It's an easy way to text and touch type without looking. It provides every keystroke from a standard laptop keyboard with only one or two fingers, or most with only one or two fingers. It connects with your phone or tablet or PC to make it easy to run a, a PowerPoint presentation, change pages, alt tab to a browser, type in a web address, uh, and control your devices remotely. So you can even pause a movie while you're watching it. Um, it's also a wonderful assistive technology. A uh, cerebral palsy uh, user said that it was, she's tried every one-handed keyboard on the market, and this Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. 
Wayne had more words and not enough time. Oh. It's kind of like my paycheck at the end of the month. I have more <laughs> month, but no more money, you know? So the time time cut you off there, Wayne. So yep. I'm going to let you, because you took the trouble coming in the studio today, I'll let you finish the sentence. Where can I buy these? You can get these at Amazon. Just Amazon. look for Decatext, and you can check out more about it at Decatext.com. Decatext, D-E-C-A-T-X-T, if you're in your cars right now, Decatext, De- Deca, like in like Decade. Decagram. On there. Okay, okay, all these, uh, you know, I'm, I'm Canadian, so we... we decade. Yeah, yeah, decade, there you go, 10 years, Decatext, okay, at Amazon.com, that's that big website I yeah, hear about. Everybody's I've, talking about that big it's, website. It's, it's something new. They're even thinking of buying Evine, I think. I think that's the rumor <laughs> anyways, who knows, uh, yeah, the street's not buying. It, but they're out there talk, 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 talking about it. So Decatex, so how much is it? Uh, right now we're selling it for $125. $125. Where do you make these things? Uh, we're making them right here in Florida. Right here? Florida? Yes, sir. There's Decatex factory right here in Florida. <laughs> they're making them away there. Let me see this thing. It's kind of cool. So, so it fits in the palm of your hand. All right, I get it. So it fits in the palm of your hand. Let me see if I can do this. So you put it like this, right? So there's the A, B, C. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? I think so. Did I get it backwards? I'm not sure. A, B. Oh, it's down here. A, B, C, D. E, F, G. Okay, got it. And then over here... E and F are up on top. Oh, E and F are on top. So so how did you come up with the layout of this thing? How did you... Why did you delay it out like this? Well, originally we thought about it as um, you've got 10 fingers. All right. Two opposable thumbs. Two. Yeah, that's what makes us kings of the world. That's what makes us great. That's why the dolphins aren't running the place, because (laughs) apparently they're smart in us, but they don't have opposing thumbs. (laughs) Well, we don't have a blowhole either. So (laughs) So, Uh, so two opposing thumbs, that one. so, So it's a single press for 10. Right. Hold one thumb for eight. Right. Hold the other thumb for eight. Right. Eight and eight is 16 plus 10 is 26. I told you he's a genius. Works out perfect. He's talking in a language. Did you understand any of that? I I didn't understand a word (laughs) what he just said. All I know, he can get all the letters and all the numbers and all the things right here on the deck. What's that the video of? Is that you on some kind of a television show? Uh, No, that was just a a presentation that we did to uh, demonstrate how to do all of the keystrokes. How many of these things have you sold? Oh, we've sold uh, a few dozen of them. We we only just finished uh, our crowdfunding and uh, built out another 150 of them. So you have 150 of these things. I don't. Do you think they think they think the people on live shopping would? You know, you know, we got to get this on my cool gadgets. <laughs> Absolutely, this is a cool gadget. Absolutely. Well, this now is that cool we've got as enough, it gets. now that we've got enough that we can actually do that. So 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 you, you bought them at 150 dollars at a time. I mean, I've known you for a few years now, right, Wayne? Yeah. And and I gotta tell you, you're very passionate about this. You've been doing it a long time. How many? You tell t- t- tell our audience how many years have you been doing this? Well, <laughs> you know, I, this isn't actually the original design. Okay. I built it into gloves. I wow. built it into um, into a wraparound skin for a video game controller and brought uh. it out to E3 and all the conventions and stuff like that. Uh, the problem is, you know, meeting a good price point for for a lot of stuff. For example, in uh, gaming, uh, Sony and Microsoft build a keyboard that they can attach to a controller right. for thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. I couldn't build it for thirty bucks. Of course, let alone so, sell it so, for thirty. So, bucks, did you right? have somebody in your family who has had only like mobility in one hand or something? How did you? What what, what drove you for the idea that we needed a one-handed controller? Well, it wasn't wasn't really originally the, the one-handed design. It was you know looking at doing it with ten fingers. Like right. I said, built it into gloves and stuff like that, which right. was cool because I, I brought it out to Kennedy Space Center and showed a bunch of rocket scientists how they could type with gloves. What which, did the rocket scientists say? Oh, they they liked it, but of course you know not a real big market. Bunch of rocket scientists. <laughs> you know, not, to... not too many astronauts uh, <laughs> going into space anymore these days. So how are those rocket scientists? Are they like weird? Are they like weird, crazy people over there? Well, we we only met. We didn't hang out together. So you didn't hang out. I'm, okay. I'm not gonna. I've always wanted to hang out with a bunch that, of rocket scientists. Yeah. See what they see. I want to see what beer they drink. <laughs> like what kind of? Uh, what am I a rocket? Oh yeah, I am a rocket scientist. So Decatext is a cool invention. You can go to Amazon.com right now and type in Decatext. 129 bucks. These are actually very awesome. I got one here. My hand. They're super, super. One-handed keyboard controller that is all the letters and all the numbers. I want you to vote. Every, Al, Al's reminding us to call out the vote. See that? He throws it up on the screen because I'm old and annoying and I forgot all that thing. All right. I want you to go to mycoolinventions.com and vote. Go there. Hit the vote button. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Is this, a, this, is this the next $100 million idea? Do you think this is a market for this? Maybe you're on uh, Facebook Live right now. Give us your comments. Maybe you're on YouTube Live. Give us your comments right now. I want every 
everybody to vote thumbs up or thumbs down and share this video. Push the share button right now and let's give uh, Wayne a, a leg up here. Let's help him out, you know, because this is what it's all about. This guy here, here's the consummate inventor. In fact, he runs, he helps run uh, the Tampa Bay Inventing Council, Invention Council. Inventors Council. Inventors Council. How many years have you been doing that? Uh, 12 years. Only 12 years he's been aggregating local inventors, helping them out. This is the guy you want to support right here. Uh, and what, what? I guess you guys meet when on Tampa? Uh, we meet every second and fourth Wednesday So, evening. So I know, did you know that in 1380 uh, a.m. here, every drive time, 4, 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, you can listen to this show? Today, when you're going home, you can listen to it on The Biz. 1380, uh, our good friend over there runs us there. Uh, live in drive time, 1380. So if you're in Tampa and you want to go to the Inventor's Council, uh, how do I do that? How do, how do I join if I'm an inventor and I want to join you guys? Uh, just come to our website. It is TBIC, Tampa Bay Inventors Council, dot US. TBIC.us. Tony's on it. He's throwing it up there. TBIC.us. Check these guys out. If you're an inventor, it's an awesome place to go. I've been there a couple times. I've been a speaker there. I've sat in the audience there. I've learned all kinds of crazy things. Even an old guy like me is learning stuff. Well, you were a everybody. guest host on our 30th anniversary. I was a guest host on your 30th anniversary. It's a great group of people. Awesome stuff. And if you're in Tampa, support these inventors. TBIC.us. Because this is what this country is all about. This is what makes this country strong. Inventors, just like this guy, and this is what sets ev our country apart from any other country in the world, and in my opinion, that's what makes America great. So listen, stick around, we got plenty more after the break. You take that last sip of coffee before your meeting, and you guessed it, it's all over your shirt. Now what? Hi, I make us the solutionist, and you can solve that problem with the S2O stain removing pens. The S2O pen is a concentrated stain remover that you can take anywhere. Put it in your purse, pocket, or your car. The effective stain remover can remove any stain from ink, grass, cosmetics, or food off of anything. Just take the pen and rub it on the stain, and the stain is gone. Simple as that. So enjoy that cup of coffee, knowing you have the S2O pen in your pocket. Normally a three-pack of S2O pen sells for $19.95, but today only on The Daily Gadget, a three-pack of S2O pens are free! You heard me right, free! Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call us 1-888-877-0490. Get your three-pack of S2O pens for free right now. Problem, the matches are wet, lighters damp, how are you gonna start a fire? Solution, survival steel. This simple, brilliant device ensures that you can start a fire every time, even in the rain or snow. It's safe, fast, it even could be a lifesaver. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and let me tell you about survival steel. It's made from cerium, which is one of the Earth's element, and it can make a spark hot enough to set a fire to almost anything. If you've ever needed to start a fire, survival steel will do the job under any conditions. Look at this. In the rain, dripping wet, or in the middle of a snowbank, survival steel starts a fire each and every time. This 3,000 degree spark isn't red hot, it's white hot. Survival steel is a necessary tool for all out Outdoorsman. Normally, Survival Steel sells for $19.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget. Buy one, get one free. Both for $19.99. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Those hanging baskets you bought are expensive, and you see more of the basket than the flowers. That's not what you wanted. You want flowers and more flowers, not baskets. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist with the perfect solution, the Betta Basket. The Betta Basket is a unique way you plant your flowers. There are 12 holes around the lower and middle of the basket with removable panels that make it easy to plant your flowers. When done, your Betta Basket will give you a perfect flower arrangement from the start. As they grow, they will sculpt themselves into something truly amazing. It's also perfect for growing strawberries, tomatoes, and herbs. All you see are flowers, fruits, and herbs. Betta Basket normally sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget, you can get it for $19.75. Call 1-888-877-0490, that's 1-888-877-0490, or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Okay, you're exercising. You need cardio equipment, strength training equipment, and all kinds of other pieces. That's a lot of stuff, and it can be expensive. 
If you don't have the space or money, that can be a problem. Hi, I'll make us the solutionist with the solution, the Workout 180. This one piece of equipment incorporates strength, cardio, stability exercises to give you a total workout. It's not only an exercise step and balance board or a push-up bar, it also comes with resistance bands. The seven different levels allow you to reach your results by consistently increasing the band resistance. The Workout 180 is affordable and an effective way to reach your personal goal. Normally, the Workout 180 sells for $199, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the Workout 180 is $59.75. That's $140 savings for the best workout system you can buy. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Your car is as hot as heck, and that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I make us the solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield, and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick, and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on the Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Well, we're back in My Cool Inventions Network with Wayne uh, in the Tampa Bay Inventions Inventors Council. Inventors Council. Inventors Council. Now, we've been talking about uh, uh, some knowledge. Uh, you're the president of the Tampa Bay's Inventors Club and, and, and count, sorry, Council. Uh, so, <laughs> you, you encourage people to go to trade shows, right? Yeah. Right. Now, we just lost one of our biggest trade shows, the Electronic Retailing Association Show. That organization has been around for, I guess, 20 years or so. I used to go to their Las I used to go to all three Las Vegas. I used to go to the uh, Florida, like Miami. My, my, I guess Miami one also. I used to do the European one. And what happened is abruptly, uh, a couple of weeks ago, they announced they're folded. Poof, yeah. gone. Just yeah. done. They just closed the door. Which yeah, if is, you go to the website right now, they've, they've got a, a statement up there uh, that says, uh, the board of directors of the Electronic Retailing Association has been contemplating the future direction of the association despite having completed one of the most successful USDC fly-ins. Uh, essentially, they went out of business. They... They Actually, I think they're going to declare Chapter 7 or yeah. Chapter, yeah, whatever that chapter right. is. That they, they went insolvent. They went insolvent. And you, you expect why, but they were charging a small ransom to go to the door. <laughs> I mean, I, I went to the Miami one because I had an infomercial to sell that flip band, and I, I sold it to a bunch of, country, uh, I guess, countries. And that was a great show because all the international guys were there. And we, if you had an infomercial, you could sort of hook up with them and team up with them, and you can, you can go get it done. And they're gone. So what, so, so how does that affect you? Well, it seems as I, I wasn't planning on going to any of the uh, Electronic Retailing Association <laughs> events. That, uh, I have in the past. I've also gone to the Vegas show. And, uh, you know, they, they did do some nice stuff for inventors. Yeah, they, they, they had an inventor's um, pavilion and right. would, would get you in contact with some of the people that were generating the infomercials and but, commercials and that sort of stuff. But you know, it was rubbish at the end. I mean, I thought the inven I thought this inventor's area was really poorly done at the end. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, listen, yeah. I'm speaking my mind on there. So, but trade shows are important to inventors, right? Yeah. So what is it, so why do you think an inventor should go hit trade shows? Well, there, there are really three main, main reasons that uh, you want to go to a trade show and, you know, one of them is uh, discovery. You want to find out what's what's going what's on. What's going on? Uh, you want to find, you know, what's the pain point that people are looking for? What are the things that uh, that people want to, you know, have developed? What do they need? What do, what is it that people absolutely have to have because that's what you want to create? So let me tell you another way. So it's not just about inventors. You know, in, if you're a business person, you're an entrepreneur, you have a local shop, even a legal shop. Go to the home show. Go to the local home show. I always tell I always tell people this: Why go to a trade show? Why do all that? Because you know, FaceTime is everything. You know, the relationship building is everything. And you look for trends. In fact, I go to China to the Hong Kong Electronics Show, and I go to the Guan, the, the Canton Fair, and one of the main 
main things I'm looking for is trends. I pick up trends that are two years away from being here. I see, I see, I see mm -hmm. uh, technology trends that I see if I can capitalize on them by being first. So, so discovery is a really important thing. So why else would you go to a trade show? Well, of course, uh, one of the other reasons that you want to go to a trade show is you want to find resources. You want to find uh, research and you know, do some research and development. Find people that that build products that can build your prototypes. So like vendors. Them. So you're looking for vendors. Exactly. So in a vendor's case, you're looking for a guy for the prototype. You might look for a lawyer for a patent. You mm -hmm. might look. So if you make, maybe you're inventing stuff, you got a warehouse full of stuff. You're looking for a warehouse facility, maybe a logistics firm, maybe maybe, maybe a, a consultant for Amazon or te yeah. teach you the digital world. Uh, and there's some great shows. Uh, you know, Amcom uh, just completed. What's an the, Amcom? Uh, American Manufacturing Convention. What? Yeah. All um, these shows that I, I used to do a hundred try of teams <laughs> of people on doing trade shows. I've never heard of that show. Where is it? Uh, well, you, you can go to a couple of different. Uh, I got a couple of different websites, and we can probably tell me probably list some of these. Um, That's why we're listening. Uh, the expo <laughs> expodatabase.com will will give you a, a, a good look at uh, a whole bunch of different trade shows that are going on. Expodatabase.com. Expodatabase.com. That's a pretty good lead. Okay. Uh, now there's uh, of course there are people that that are in the business of selling exhibits. Right. And so. They've they've got a really good listing of trade shows and stuff that are going on. Who are they? Uh, that's the uh, absoluteexhibits.com top or slash top 100 USA shows. They need to uh, go to a consultant to yeah, figure out they, a they, shorter they website name. Uh, you can go also go to the <laughs> trade show network. Oh, trade show com. Network. Trade show network com. That's a good website. Uh, and. Um, uh, I used to like uh, TSNN, but for for some reason they they've kind of changed their website around. They... TSNN. If you're listening in Canada, it's not TSN. <laughs> that's a sports network. This is TSNN. So next to N. And then you can also check out Ten Times dot com slash trade show. And see a whole bunch of different trade shows all over the world. So give that list to Tony. Tony will type them all up there and throw them up on the feed here, so <laughs> sure. everybody can see them. Uh, Georgie Bowling says, "Sounds awesome mm -hmm. on there." She's listening. So a bunch of trade shows. So go to trade shows. We're going to put this resources up on the yeah. fa the Facebook stream there, uh, maybe even the YouTube one, so you guys can all see and it. The Society of Manuka uh, Manu. Manufacturers and engineers. It's the Society of Manufacturers and Engineers. There's an exciting group of people you want to have a beer with. SME.org. <laughs> oh, SME.org. Yep. Oh, I've had a bunch of engineers go through my life. <laughs> They're very. Hey, Steve Warple just said hello. Hey, Steve. Uh, you know who that guy is? That's the Glide guys, and he's going on Inventor Showdown. Uh, uh, he's going through QA right now. Uh, good luck to Steve. I, I love this guy because they have the uh, a new furniture glide. You know those furniture glides? Oh, sure. But you know what he solved? You know how sometimes invention is just improving something that's mm -hmm out there. You know how a furniture glide normally is, I was on, I do my workout last night, we use uh -huh. it in the workouts, they're flat and they slide kind of flat, but if you have a chair and an angle, it doesn't really work very well. He solved that angle thing, so like any chair thing, that, cool, very good inventors, I love those guys. And, and of course the third reason that you want to go to a trade show is What's that? you want to show your stuff. You want to show your stuff. You want to get selling. That's important. You want to get selling. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. When I, when I tell inventors all this, they, they, everybody I come across, and I've come across thousands of inventors. My goodness gracious, uh, I think our database is, I think, six or 7,000 deep now. And, uh, you know, we've met a lot of these guys and, and girls. And what they want to do is I tell people, he goes, I don't want to do a trade. I'm going to throw it up on Amazon. I go, no, 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 stop. Yeah, really? I go, here's what you want to do. You want to meet people. Well, you know, you, and it's an evolution. When you're you got to get feedback. You got to get feedback, and it's an evolution. I'm not saying you're going to get to where you're going, but as long as you're out there walking, you're moving, right? And if you're at home sitting on your hands, I can guarantee the outcome. But if you're out there at a trade show, discovering, learning, uh, uh, seeing the new trends, and of course, also selling your stuff, always good things happen when you go out there and sell your stuff. And it don't actually have to go to trade shows to get in front of people. You can, um, One Million Cups is a terrific What's organization. A, I heard about this. What, to tell everybody, what is a One Million Cups? Uh, the idea is uh, solutions can be resolved or solved over a million cups of coffee. Uh, oh, it's a million cups of coffee. That's they how provide much you, the free coffee. And that's how many cups I have before lunch. <laughs> and they have uh, show uh, events every week. Typically every Wednesday uh, in Tampa Bay, we've, we're lucky we've got one in St. Pete and one in Tampa. So, we've so wait got a minute. So here. you go every Wednesday to a Million Cups meeting? Uh, no, I, I don't. But well, there is a. But they so are. How many people show available. up to those things? Dozens. Uh, so Dozens. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the room is full. So, so you I go mean, in there and have a cup of coffee. Well, the two presenters get eight minutes to pitch their ideas, talk about what what it is that they've developed, okay. and then the audience 
has 20 minutes to give them feedback to talk about you know what so how long is the meeting from start to finish an hour one hour then you're out go to work yeah what time in the morning is it uh, it's usually nine o'clock Nine o'clock. Where do they, they hold it? Uh, Listen, you guys are listening in Tampa. Might as well give away the Tampa addresses. So, absolutely. so where do you? Uh, it's at the greenhouse in Saint Petersburg, and at the, the uh, greenhouse in Saint Petersburg. Where is that? Um, that's uh, I think the round Fourth Street. Um, is that where it's, the, the? It's near the um, the Sundial. Okay, Sundial. Okay, downtown. Okay, and, and we're in Tampa. And in Tampa, it's in Ebor. It's at the uh, economic development. Uh, the economic place. development place at Ebor. A bunch of people smoking cigars down there. <laughs> they still make cigars down in Ebor. I think there's still one. One place, uh, one place still, that actually rolls a cigar rolls down there. Down there, yeah. Well, oh, that's cool. So, Million Cups is a good place to go. So, trade shows. Mm-hmm. What else you got for us? Uh, go to a maker fair. I mean, there's a maker fair. Maker fairs are anybody that creates, makes, or develops things. They're fairs for that. There's fairs for that, and wow, some really, extremely creative stuff. You know, I've been doing this like 40 years, and, and you're teaching me new stuff. <laughs> Maker Fair. Okay, cool. There's, just... a, there's a big one coming up in September in New York. Um, they've, they've got them in um, San Francisco is, I think, where it's is it like or, arts or and California. Is, is it, it like those arts and, craft, sorry, arts and craft fairs? There are some stuff like that, but, you know, they've got giant uh, two-story high fire-breathing robots. they got Whoa. all kinds of really Tony, cool we got to go check out some fire-breathing robots. Uh, they, yeah, yeah, we'll they're... bring some. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> so maker fairs, what else? Uh, and uh, you can go to, well, obviously there are lots of different uh, events. There's um, the uh, National uh, Hardware Show, the That's Home Houseware Show. See, I know those two. Uh, licensing Expo. Just, Light, I know just that just that. happened. Did you go to, have you gone to that one? I uh, haven't been to that one. Uh, one that just finished uh, er- earlier this week was E3. That was kind of one of my favorites to go to because you know they've they've uh, electronic entertainment expo it's more of the gaming stuff um, and you know they've they've got all kinds of crazy displays and people dressed in all kinds of you know different so why do you go dressed as <laughs> a tourist <laughs> a tourist uh, I had a guy in my office just yesterday he's got like millions of followers he's one of the leading gamers in the world and he actually streams video and hundreds of thousands of people watch him stream a game <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to say that again because I didn't understand it at first. That's incredible. He plays video games and he streams it to YouTube. And what's that What's that other one they use? Uh, Click or whatever that the gaming site is. Uh, so he streams it and then people watch him play for like six hours. Yeah, it's incredible. I suddenly thought I was growing up under a rock. I go, wow. And that's a whole thing I didn't even hear about. I didn't even know about that. Did you know about that, Tony? And of course. People watching people play video games? Yeah, and, and they make CBS. money off of it too. Get out. Yeah. The other the other platform is Twitch. That's the one I was thinking of. Twitch. Thank you. Twitch, See, I've got these yep. young kids in here that help me out when I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay. Uh, CES is obviously. I love CES, one. Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. Now, if you're going to go, there you have to bring. Uh, obviously, you got to bring your cards. Yeah. Uh, you got to bring your prototypes. If you have you some show videos, and tell, yeah. if you've got some stuff that you can show, um, bring a one sheet so that you can hand something to somebody. We that, call that a that, sell sheet. Okay. Sell go, sheet. Yeah. One sheet. Whatever you want to call. Um, it. Bring your prototypes, uh, yep. your stuff. Bring a camera, a microphone, um, so that you can record. You know, you never know. You might get testimonials and stuff like that right. from people. And that's always great stuff to have for your your YouTube channel, your website, or promoting. You know, your stuff when You're you can show it to people. Right. Um, you can bring a note, bring a notepad so that you can jot notes. Maybe an NDA if you've got something that you've got to keep uh, seal. And a positive attitude, clean clothes, good hygiene, and for crying out loud, have good breath because you don't want to turn <laughs> off somebody just because you have bad breath. Well, there's some good advice from Wayne from the Tampa Bay Invention Council, Inventors Council. Let me tell you something. TBIC.us. Check these guys out, Wayne. Thank you very much. You all come back. You're going to come back again, aren't you? Absolutely. Awesome stuff. Hey, deal of the day coming up right after this. You clumsy idiot! You ruined the car! Stop. Stains are out. Stop the screaming with Stains Are Out. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest stuff ever! Thank you so much, Banana Man. Who was that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at StainsAreOut.com. Problem, you're jogging and dehydrated from lack of water. That small water bottle attached to your waist is empty and hot and uncomfortable. Solution, the hydro water bottles. 
these ergonomically designed bottles encourage proper form and posture while running and walking. They provide upper body exercise and hydration. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist and let me tell you these hydro water bottles are fantastic. You get two 16 ounce insulated bottles with easy to hold handles making them easy to carry. The two pounds of water weight will exercise both arms while jogging. You can even add more weight. Run better, exercise better, feel better with the hydro water bottles. Buy it now. Normally the Hydro Water Bottles sell for $49.99, but with the special promo code H2O, you can buy them for $39.75 for the next 7 days. Call one 877 490 or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Charging devices in the great outdoors in extreme conditions is always a dilemma. How do you charge your phone, tablet, or maybe that light? It can be a real problem. Not anymore. Hi, I make us a solutionist with the Extreme Tactical Power Bank. This power bank is portable, rugged power source, uniquely constructed with an integrated 18,000 milliamp battery. It's waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof, perfect for your next invasion. It has two USB outboard ports to charge two devices simultaneously. It even has a short circuit protection. The four LED indicators show battery life and status. The Extreme Tactical Power Bank also has a 30 meter torchlight perfect for spotting your enemies. This power bank lets everyone enjoy the outdoors without worry. Normally the Extreme Power Bank sells for $99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, 59 bucks. Call one 877 490 go to mycoolgadgets.com. Problem, there's one or two times in the day you want to feel clean, but that isn't always the case. Solution, Bob's Butt Wipes. Their all-natural paraben-free formula ensures that you will be fresh and clean. Without exposure to harsh chemicals, it features a unique hanging dispenser that installs in seconds on your toilet paper holder. Hi, I make us the solutionist and let me tell you, you can trust Bob's Butt Wipes to keep you clean. These wipes are biodegradable and dispense in under three minutes so your sewer system will remain clog free. You can easily put them into a specially designed dispenser or take them with you on trips. They come in a variety of designer containers for the children or the outdoorsmen. Check out Bob's Butt Wipes for yourself. Wipes that work as hard as you do. Normally the Bob's Butt Wipes sell for $19.75, but today only on the Daily Gadget, buy one, get one free. Call one 877 490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Problem, it's raining and cold and you need to start a fire, but everything's wet. Solution, survival wood. This one piece of wood can save your life. Just chip some pieces from the stick and ignite it. It'll even burn when soaking wet. Then it burns hot, just add some more survival wood. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist and that's exactly how you save your life. By starting a fire to keep you warm or signaling for help. Survival wood is made from the Guatemalan pine, rich in resin. It's a light wood that can be cut easily with the grain. Just a few chips will start a fire for you in any condition, in the rain or in the snow. But if you're in bad weather, a match or lighter may not work. Check out survival steel that can ignite the survival wood under all conditions. In the great outdoors, always have survival wood with you. Normally, three pounds of survival wood sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $9.75. Just call one 877 490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Are you no, kidding me? Loser. Stop. Stains are out. Wow. Stop the yelling with Stains Are Out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who wants that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret in my Stains Are Out. You can too at stainsareout.com. <laughs> Here's the problem, it's grilling season and everything's a mess on the barbecue. And what do you do? You get out your steel wool, you get all that kind of stuff, and you try to scrub away at your grill. Well, you know what? There's all kinds of controversy about that right now. Solution, the grill boss. Let me tell you something. First of all, it's made from wood. It's not made from metal. So when you clean the grate, you're going to scrape all that stuff and not leave all the metal behind. The char boss is the answer. Let me tell you, the very, very best grill cleaner you've ever seen made of wood 
It'll get you on all the, all the hard to get to places and clean up those grills once and for all and no iron filings in your food. Now, there's a solution for you. Now, normally Charbos sells for $19.99, $19.99, but today on the WAG, it's $9.75. That's right, $9.75. Go to mycoolgadgets.com. That's the Charbos for less than $10 at mycoolgadgets.com. What are you waiting for? Start grilling, start cleaning right now, mycoolgadgets.com. Well, take a look at that. That's called the Char Boss. One of our inventors came onto the program. He invented the Char Boss. Let me tell you the features of the Char Boss. It's kind of great. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that it's no metal involved. Ever seen those big iron filing brushes that you probably have? Let me tell you something. I've been reading some articles right now about that thing, and it's been really alarming. What happens is when you're using those iron filings, it gets rusty outside. You'll probably leave it out in the wet and the rain. It's humid. They start rusting, right? And those iron filings that you're doing on the grate are getting ending up in your food. And let me tell you something. There's all kinds of nastiness. Google that, uh, how to clean your barbecue and get rid of your barbecue brush. There's a real controversy about that. So this inventor said, okay, I'll solve that problem. He made a device that uses wood. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, wait a minute, this wood uh, cleaner is a straight edge. How on earth is it going to get into those grates just like that? So what happens with the char boss? As you clean over and over and over again, you wear inside these. It's customized to your own grill. So see that in the video there? You see how it's wearing in a straight line? That's going to clean your grill, no iron filings, and it's customized right there. Because it's wood and your grill is hot, it's going to quickly burn the etch in there for you right away. So you're going to be able to clean your grill easily and quickly. It's the best solution ever. Now, the second thing I want to show you on there is kind of interesting. Over here, there's a little metal edge. You see that metal edge there? Can you see what's going on there? That's that metal edge. Because sometimes you've got the grease drippings that are kind of below the grate maybe even underneath the grate. Well, this inventor has solved that problem, too, because you can grow the blade, uh, so it goes around the grate, so you can go underneath it, and you can go on the side of it, and you can clean even those hard-to-reach places on your grate. This is the Char Boss. It's $19.99, normally $19.99 on My Cool Gadgets, and we have it today on What a Gadget for $9.75. That's $9. Did I get that right? $9.75. That's right. $9.75. Go to MyCoolGadgets.com for 975. Father's Day's coming up. Uh, you have a whole summer of grilling in front of you. This is your solution to a safe grill. Now, you're probably saying, what is What a Gadget? Well, What a Gadget we call the Daily Wag. W-A-G, What a Gadget. I love the saying, you know, you should wag more and bark less. That's the deal. Always a happy thing here on the Daily Wag. Always a happy invention, happy gadget. And this is no different. This is what this is our today's uh, Daily Gadget. And I want to talk about also um, the fact that it's made out of wood. It's made here right in the United States of America, and it's made by an American inventor. And let me tell you that, that's important stuff. Because, you know, these inventors are out there trying to get their stuff out there. And I keep saying to people, start selling, get selling, get that going. And this guy's been really successful. We've had this, um, I think he's got this in Costco, he's got this in Home Depot. You've seen it before. It sells for $19.99, $20. But here on our show, where he first got his start, right here, it's $9.75, less than half the price that you can buy it for at retail. All you have to do is go to mycoolgadgets.com. That's mycoolgadgets.com. Now, why would? Why would the guy make it out of wood? Well, first of all, it's not plastic. I love the fact that it's renewable. I love the fact that it's sustainable. I love the fact that this doesn't end up in our oceans, doesn't end up in our fish, doesn't end up in those big piles you see in the Pacific Ocean that they've got the size of Texas, apparently, all that stuff. A wood won't end up there, and that's really important. Uh, I love the fact that sustainable material made of wood. And also on the bottom, see that little bottom part? Well, there's your bottle opener because you can't have a grill. You can't have a party without opening some of your favorite refreshments. So he's even built a bottle opener to it. So it's got a bottle opener. It's got a complete grill cleaner so you can get in the sides, get underneath, get everywhere. And also on the top so you can have that. Now, it's like you're saying that, wait a minute, ACOS, that's a flat top. My grill's got grooves in it just like that. Well, you turn your grill on. You turn that grate hot. So when you start well, you start cleaning your grate, cleaning your grill, what will happen is the, it'll burn itself in there. It'll burn those little ridges in there, and it's an absolutely customized for your grate. Isn't that cool? You've got a custom grate cleaner for your own barbecue. This will work on any barbecue, whether you have a you have a Weber or you have a charcoal barbecue, whether you have a propane barbecue. It doesn't matter which barbecue. 
I use this at home. And you can pick them up at retail, too. You can pick them up at Home Depot. You can pick them up at Costco for $19.99. But here on My Cool Gadgets, it's less than half that price. $9.75. That's today's daily wag on MyCoolGadgets.com. I want you to go to MyCoolGadgets.com. You know why that's an important site? A lot of the inventor's products you'll find on MyCoolGadgets.com. You'll see all kinds of coolest things there. If you want to see boring stuff, go on somewhere else. But if you want to see the coolest gadgets that are not even on the market. There are many products up there that haven't even seen the market. You want to buy the Inventor Showdown products? Most of those products are right there up on MyCoolGadgets.com. That's a platform for our inventors to get selling. We love people to get selling. In fact, so much so, we're going to have a webinar next Thursday called Get Selling in our Inventor Masterclass series. We want to teach people how to get selling. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the number one secret what inventors should be doing to get funding, to get selling, to get learning, right there on that webinar, the number one secret. Uh, so you want to tune into that webinar next Thursday. It's called Inventor Masterclass. You're going to have to register for that. It's easy. You just have to uh, click a link and make sure we know there. Get a seat in our free live webinar Thursday next week. I believe it is at noon, 12 o'clock Thursday next week. We're going to start posting on the My Cool Invention site that click there, and I'm going to start promoting it all week, and we'll put it up there so you guys can go to the click and register yourself for that uh, masterclass, the inventor's masterclass. But today's Daily Wag is the Char Boss, the number one grill scraper. I mean, there's nothing better, because what are you doing right now? You're using that big iron filing brush, and let me ask you this question, how long have you been using it? And every time you go scrape it, what are you leaving behind? You're leaving behind iron filings. Let me tell you about iron filings, not the healthiest things to ingest. You want iron in your burgers? You want iron in your steaks? Of course not, right? So get rid of the iron brush. The, actually, I'm going to tell you something. It's absolutely dangerous. There's all kinds of stuff on Google. Just Google your grill brush and see what comes up. Not to mention those iron filing brushes get full of grease. Have you ever seen all the grease? Where do you think the grease is going? You're shoving it up there in the iron filing brush. It's rusting and it's all coming off in rust. Not good. This one here, the scraper here for Char Boss, no iron filings, no scraper uh, grease everywhere. It's perfect and it customizes to your grill quick and easy. Normally 19 $19.99. Go to Home Depot. Go to, go, go to Costco. I've seen them both places for $19.99. We have it here for $9.75. $9.75. Check it out at my coolgadgets.com and mycoolgadgets.com exactly how it sounds and make sure you like our My Cool Gadgets Facebook page make sure you like that and of course if you're watching on the Facebook live stream go click like and if you're watching on the YouTube screen you gotta subscribe so click subscribe you want these great deals every single day delivered to you so you always know about them on mycoolgadgets.com that's today's daily wag we call that a what a gadget and it really is what a gadget great cool things we call it a wag because you should wag more and bark less. Right here on the My Cool Inventions Network, that's today's wag. So get on My Cool Gadgets and pick one up right now. Problem. It's an emergency. You're stuck in the car with no power. The windows are up, the doors are locked, and it's 95 degrees. What do you do? Solution. The tactical pen. Anybody can break the window without hurting themselves. Grip the tactical pen and tap the window and it'll break. No need to hit the glass with your fist or elbow. And also it has many other functions. Hi, I'm Akos. The Solution is here to tell you that the tactical pen is the Superman of pens. The tip is made of tungsten steel and it's designed to break any window with one tap. It also serves as a deterrent against your assailant. And here's the best part, it's a perfect pen. You can even write upside down with its Fisher Space cartridge. Break out, protect yourself, even write a note with the tactical pen. The tactical pen sells for $59.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $29.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to mycoolgadget.com. Gadgets.com. You have beautiful potted flowers and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden and patio beautiful with flowers. 
Normally the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Your car is as hot as heck. And that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I make us the solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on The Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now.